Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amal play Tulip. Today, the conclusion. We're starting the episode off. Mao's in control and she's going to see Mr. Suzuki. Oh, big shot. Chu, welcome. Write a love letter. Let's write a love letter. Yes. It's finally happening. We're writing a letter. It's been a long journey. You received a good love letter. Okay, well, that's that's that. You did it. Now, and the game's over. Oh, no. <laughs> Where did we first mail our letter? In the mailbox? Correct. You don't do that now. Oh. That is the wrong mailbox. It will never reach your heart. Wait, what? There's a separate mailbox? Yes. Where? In the park. Oh. So wait, if you set, if you get that love letter and you mail it, what happens? If you mail it It'll to the wrong place? It'll tell you something and then you have to go write another one and then oh. try and figure out where you're supposed to go. Oh, well that's unfortunate and stupid. Now, do you need any health recovery items or anything like that? No, I got 99 hearts. I got 99 hearts and a food ain't one. I don't, I don't know how to make that work. Oh, wow, look at this. Principal. 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 Choose dad is the principal? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for this reveal. What the balls? Really? Yes. Teachers of local junior high, we appreciate your hard work. Thank you very much. I am so happy. Thanks to you, my proud son Chu is now called Big Shot in town. He's a grown up. Congratulations, Principal. I knew the principal's son could do it. But is it possible that he thinks we are bad people? I hope not, I'd be sad. We put a rock on the train tracks. We blocked the pass under the bridge with some stuff. He must think we are terrible. Robbing, stealing, kicking, dumping? We are the worst of the money-loving grown-ups. No problem, Miss Iwata. You could say that we are good negative examples of life. Teaching what is right is not enough. You correct yourself by looking at other people's bad behavior. Well done, well done. Ugh. But the story hasn't ended yet. Yes, the last lesson awaits him. Yes. Unless he takes his good love letter to the mailbox at the bottom of this hole. His love can't touch her. But Mr. Suzuki, can he really find this hole? Even if he did, could he reach the bottom of her heart? He's become tough, but he's still young. Oh. Here he comes, here he comes. Chu is here. Hide. Yeah, no one will know this. So, Mal, the way I'm picking up that is that this was all planned. Yes. This was all a hoax. Yes. There was never a fight. Never. The principal, who was Chu's dad, made all of them do this to to make it appear like they were fighting just so Chu could become... so he could have a stronger heart. Yes. This was all arranged. Mm-hmm. It was a big ruse. What? My my mind is freaking blown. <laughs> Just wait. Hey. What are you doing here, Chu? What a coincidence. Dad, why'd you bring your table to the park? <laughs> hey. Oh, he says you... the same thing. Yes. <laughs> you gotta talk to the other things? Nope. I mean, I can. What about Suzuki hiding behind the thing? They just don't talk. Yep. Okay. Found a hole. Look in the hole. It seems deep. Look farther. This is... 
The game has been bizarre, but now... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm... I'm really speechless about what just happened. Like, briefly, Chu's father's head fell off. He is just the head with the feet. He has a fake body. Is Chu adopted? Starting to seem more and more likely. So you think uh, our friend Jeff will come save us with the Skyrunner? Oh, reference. There we go. There's a convenient door. Um, okay. So we have three trials. Okay. One of which is actually a trial. This is creepy. I mean, it's also creepy that your dad made all of the teachers in the school work together to trick his son into kissing everyone in town. <laughs> Roasted sweet but oh my god. Fresh and hot. We... I... drink too much, so I became a potato. Which one of us is my head? Welcome, Chew. Help me, Chew. Chew. I'm drunk. I don't remember my sober face. Hot, hot, we... He's um, a sweet potato. This is... This is like nightmare stuff, so you have to pick- He's a sweet potato! I see that, and it's really frightening. So, which one is his real face? Do you know? I do. I'm asking you. Um, One, I two, three, four, five, six. I think his real face is either one or four, but I think it's one. It's one. Me? You pick me? Hee hee hee. The only difference is his eyes are shut, and that's what you're looking for. He he he, right. So did we win the acceptance of her dad? Is that what that was about? Yes. Man, this is... The game is getting trippier. Don't you it, remember when you did this for me? Don't I remember whenever I, I had fell... Had to win the oh, I fell down a 50-foot hole in a park and then went down a creepy cave with stairs and then I saw your dad who was laying on the floor and he had become a sweet potato and he had six versions of his head on the ground and he said, please help me find which one because I've been drinking too much? No, Mal, that part <laughs> of uh, our relationship doesn't seem to ring a bell. Uh, I'm glad I went into the chicken coop because now these chickens make a lot more yeah. sense. She doing karaoke? No, she's a singer. Wait, she's a singer? Yep. When was she a singer? Uh, I'm pretty sure they mentioned it something about that's how her and Goro met. But oh, so they both kind of have alternate things because she actually runs a bar. Yeah. And he sells sweet potatoes, but that's neither of what they want to do. He wants to make films, and she wants to sing. Okay. I kind of wish that this would have been subtitled, because that would have been kind of nice, but instead, it's not. By the way, the OST for this game is good. <laughs> it's just another reminder. It's just I think this would make a little more sense to a Japanese audience, because the chickens are just bobbing their heads to the music. Kind of looks like she's standing on top of a McDonald's logo. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Silence! The chicken's left. Oh my god! I told you it was a trial! Court is now in session! The chicken murder case! Now I'm going to tell you the verdict. The defendant, Julie Arashiyama, is guilty! Your sentence is to be a grilled human! You ready? To do the... We're ace, turning slightly into... The Ace Attorney? The Ace Attorney games. <laughs> sure. Objection! You want to make an appeal? Fine. Today, we will have humans take the stand. Let's be fair to both humans and chickens. Now we will start calling the witnesses. All testimony given by the witnesses will be evidence. The defendant's counsel may choose who to question. 
The first witness, please proceed to the stand. This is bizarre. We want Mrs. Plum, so she needs to give her testimony. Please let me give testimony. I love bitter food. Her grilled chicken is burnt. It's very good. She is the best. Hee hee hee. So random people come in and do this? Correct, and I only need two and they need to be specific ones. Leo is not one. Let me say next, please. So if, if certain people give testimony, it hurts her case. Correct. And you could be ejected from the hole and have to start over. Uh, I'm not sure what happens. You could lose hearts, or it could just be like, no, you totally fail this. Well, the game the game has been pretty Here's our last one. unfair up to this point, so... Hee hee hee! Julie's grilled chicken! It tastes very good. It tastes like burnt eggplants. Hee hee hee. Julie agrees. Oh, it's her husband. So you said you only need two? Yeah, I may have to say no further questions. Otherwise, it just keeps bringing people out. Hmm. Now, having considered the opinions of humans, I will tell you the verdict. Cooking chicken is a crime, but... Having considered the testimony of two people in Long Lifetown, the defendant not only cooked grilled chicken, but she cooked it very well. Therefore, the defendant is not guilty. I don't understand. Now, <laughs> court is adjourned. If you're going to cook my people, then you gotta do a good job of it. I guess so. They must be related to Eggplant Boy. Eggplant Boy's like, yeah, eat my people. Okay, so... That was for her father and for her mother. Now you walk down further... And I'm assuming this is the trial I have to for gain the approval of one more person. Is it her? Nope. Really? It's her cat. Oh my god. I am a cat. I have no name. I am the last gatekeeper. Chu is trying to win my her. I know everything. You dirty little rat. If you want to open the last door behind me, you must endure my insults. So, this is the dead or alive long life insult quiz. I'll ask you 20 questions. If you're wrong, you're punished. If you stay alive, I'll let you through. Now, question number one. How old is her? Fortunately, we have a list of the questions and you answers. You are supposed to be able to find the, all these questions out in-game, by the way. Yeah, none of these should be, but some of them are insane. Yeah. Some of them, like one of the questions on here is, what is the Yabu Hospital phone number? Which and it's is, on a sign outside the hospital, and it's also on a billboard when you wait for the train in Long Life Like Town. that kind of small detail stuff. But we have the questions and answers, so we How should be fine. How old is she? How old is Julie? Not Julie. Julie. Wait, Julie's her it? mom. <laughs> oh, how old is her? Her is... Wait, actually... You don't have that one on here. I don't? There's two columns. Um... The, the answers are 10, 12, 14, and 20? I think she's 14. She's 14. Oh, it's 14. I found it. <laughs> Correct. Now, question number two. How old is Policeman? I will have you know that policeman is 28. Correct. Now question number three. What is the name of the teacher who looks like a utility pole? We know that already. Dan Yamada. It's, yeah, I was going to say Yamada, but it's all different sorts of Yamadas. Correct. Now question number four. Mr. Saburamura Inoue, who lives in the cemetery, is a teacher. What does he teach? Uh, I think it's social studies. Um, he, he teaches social studies, that's correct. Oh, correct. Now, question number five. How old is Mr. Cheapot? Do you want to take a guess? 55. That's correct. You're doing well. 
You know most of these, correct. Now, question number six. How many chickens are there in the chicken coop? Thirteen? No, twelve. Um, the answer is eleven. Dang. Oh, correct. Now, also, the manual tells you a lot of these two little hints, like in the maps. Like yeah, where the, the chicken coop is in the map on the manual, it says eleven chickens. But the manual also gets some information about the oh, game yeah, wrong, so not very trustworthy. Now question number seven. What time does the earliest train depart? Six. Um, 5.30. Why are they all C? Are they all C? It seems like it. Correct. Dan Yamada was, was four. Oh, that's right. Question number eight. Michelle doesn't like everyone except for... Cheapot. Mr. Cheapot. Mmm, correct. Now, question number nine. Who was the chief of Julie's fan club when she was a singer? Cheap Pot. Um. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, perfect. Now, question number ten. What is the first thing Leo does in the morning? Brushes his teeth. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yes, you're right. Brush his teeth. Correct. Now, question number 11. How old is Batayan? 30? He is 30. Ooh, correct. Now, question number 12. Who is the fan of the director, Arashiyama? Ar 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 uh, uh, Arashiyama. It's hard to say. Goro. Oh, wait, Goro is him. Cheap pot? Um, it's actually Batayan. Ooh, correct. Now, question number 13. By the way, I hate you. But I know more about you than you do. So here is a question. How much does Chu weigh? That's very odd and specific. <laughs> um, Mal, do you have a guess? Uh, 110. It's 122. Ooh, correct. Now, question number 14. Who owns the empty lot in Long Life Town? Cheap pot. Um. I don't. Where is that one? <laughs> <laughs> Who owns the empty. Uh, yes, you're right. I should just assume you're right, because you've been doing well. <laughs> Correct. Now, question number 15. What is the title of the song played at the antique shop? Gold Raccoon Love. Uh, incorrect. What? It's Goldfish Love. Correct. Now, question number 16. The following four people are ill. Whose disease has the longest name? That's really That's in Yan? crazy. Uh, whose disease is the longest name, longest name, longest name, policeman. Correct. Now, question number 17. What is the name of the underworld resident who likes rotating? Topper. Um. It's Chopper. The answer is Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Now, question number 18. Who goes to the midnight movie as an audience? Michelle? Uh, looking for it. Who goes to the midnight thing as an audience? Y'all got it. Oh, it answer is Michelle. Ooh, correct. Now, question number 19. How old is Julie? 31. The answer is 41. Ooh, correct. This is the last question. How old is Goro? 50. The answer is 50. You got 100% of them right. You, you have endured my quiz. All right, I'll let you go. Behind this door lies the bottom of her's heart. Go, Chu. 
game is very odd. Like, as, as weird as the game was the entire thing, like, this is taking the cake. Does Man. it make sense that uh, he made Rule of Rose? Rule of Rose? Yeah. You wanna go to Club Chulip? <laughs> That's funny. I haven't played Rule of Rose, but isn't... I remember... That's that one with the kids, right? That's the one where, like... It's it's kind of slightly controversial. You kill kids or you date kids or you are kids and you have to kill them. I think you are you play as kids and kill other kids or something. I don't know. It's a little weird. Dear Miss Her, this is our letter. You are the best. Not in Long Life Town, not in the world, but in the universe. I love you. Why is there a dog in your heart? Love Chu. Chu, uh, instead, put an eggplant in her heart. Finally, Chu's good love letter reached hers heart. All right then, confession time. Creepy. Also, wait a minute. Chu and his dad moved into town. How is he the principal? I don't know. That seems like a plot hole. Unless that was, unless he's been the principal for a long time there. Oh. After all, what is happiness? I don't know. We didn't find out what it is. I don't know. I wonder too. They seem happy and unhappy. Oh. It doesn't matter which school you go to. I don't even know what my happiness is as a teacher. Many people are unhappy even after they graduated. Mr. Inoue, sometimes I get worried about my unknown future. I don't know what my happiness is anymore. We are all travelers looking for happiness. When we get tired of searching, we can take a break. Teachers, I'm very worried about my son's happiness. Don't worry, Principal. Chu will be just fine. Today, at this place, at this time, I believe he knows what happiness is right now. Also, I'm pretty sure the sign talked when Chu's dad was supposed to talk. Yeah. That was a little weird. <laughs> Mr. Yamada just fell over. <laughs> Thank you, hand. Thank you, thing. <laughs> Next to the beautiful garbage can, and the, and the beautiful cemetery stone, Chew. I've been waiting for you. And so a child was born out of the tree. From the first moment you saw her, love blossomed. A boy and a girl from two different parts and they met and fell in love. The kiss of happiness. I was not hitting any buttons. Oh my god. That's on speed dial, ain't it? Chew? Your name is Chew. Her name is her. For poorer? or hungrier. Will you stay happy together as long as you both shall live? Now you may give her a kiss. That was weird. That's how it happens. <laughs> Seemed like he was a little more eager than she was. <laughs> she was like, well, if you did go through the trouble of kissing everyone in a four-mile radius, I guess. Look at the dad on his table. Man. Wow. Everyone is really excited for you. Like, dang. Just gonna spin in space forever. You finally got her, Chu. Not sure how much she 
wanted to reciprocate that kiss, but you finally got her. Holy crap. Holy crap, we did it. Mallory, we did it. This is it. This is the credits. I got chills. Partially because I, I actually really did enjoy the game, but also it was it was so much trouble. It's probably hands down one of the most frustrating games I've ever played. So with that in mind, like part of it's because we're done, and part of it's because like oh wow, we don't have to do it again. Like we actually we did it. We beat the game. First off, let me say thank you to everyone who watched. Um, whenever Mao told me that she wanted to do Tulip. She Well, to be honest, you told me quite some time ago. It's been probably years yes. that Mao has mentioned wanting to do a Let's Play of Tulip. But um, it was something I wasn't quite sure about. I wasn't really sure, to be honest, how it was going to be received. And fortunately, it's been very well received. It's been one of the more popular series uh, in a while, and people have really, really enjoyed it. Um, people tell us on social media all the time how... how how much they're looking forward to the next episode of Chulip. And that's really cool. Um, I'm really glad that you guys have enjoyed Chulip so much. It's very wacky, it's very absurd, and to be honest, I think it's probably a little more enjoyable to watch than it is play, just because sometimes it's ridiculously difficult. But it's got a lot of imagination, it's very quirky, and I think it's a game that people should see. I really do. Um, I think it's missing some important elements of of <laughs> updated game design. I don't think that everything should rely so much on a random number generator. Um, but overall, it's, it was a fun title. Probably could have saved some time had we not continued searching for frogs. <laughs> but to be honest, I I don't know that there's even two frogs in the game. I really, I really do feel like it's just the one. Also, all the places that you're seeing in the background are actual places in the yes, game. Yes, like there's the hospital and cheap pot store. That is so cool. That is like super, super cool. I love it. Actually, it looks a little bit like the um, the art that is on the album for the OST. Mm -hmm. It's not quite that crayony, but it's it's like a hand drawn style, and it's it looks really cool. Yeah, this is neat. This is. I, I like seeing the credits in games, and uh, this one is is really unique. But the the relationship between Chu and her is very odd, because like he moves into town, then he's like, "I like this girl," and then his dad is like, "Oh, my son likes this girl." Well, what I should do is get all of my teachers to have this elaborate plan to have my son kiss everyone, so he'll have the courage to kiss the girl. Correct. Tulip really is a weird game. But with that, it's over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we hope that you have enjoyed Tulip. Uh, we feel like we have... We've done a pretty good job covering it. Um, we did manage to get 100% and, and show off everything that there is to show off. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do with Mao. I, I, to be honest, I wouldn't have done this game without Mao. <laughs> Not in a million years. Uh, I needed... Uh, I needed her expertise on the game in order to to get through it. And then also she was the one that was really pushing to do it in the first place. Um, but that's obviously not going to be it for Mal and myself. We're going to be jumping into more titles in the future. So we hope that you've enjoyed Tulip. But stay tuned to Steven Plays and there will be more co-op Let's Plays between Mallory and me in the future. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Steven and Mal play something. Thanks for coming along with us on this crazy journey. Lover's tree! Lover's tree! They beat Julep! <laughs>